Hey Grizzlies, we're super excited to be your new anchors. I'm Kelly Gabriel. And I'm Kenny Pablo, substituting for Asaya, and this is SOZ TV. Attention to everyone who joined the Winter Doodle Challenge. The event has now come to an end. Please stop by C4 to submit your doodle, or you can send a photo to Miss Shimada. While you're at it, pick up a sheet for this month's challenge. Fill your hard doodle challenge, relax while filling out hearts. You can stop by C4 or email Miss Shimada for the sheet. Listen up, Grizzlies. Do you have anyone you want to appreciate this month? Well, today is the last day to buy Valentine's Day grams. If you want to buy a gram, you can find a link leader or come down to B10. The grams will be delivered this Friday during 6th period and candy can be picked up after school that day in the cafeteria. The book room will be closed from February 15th to the 22nd. If you need to check out or return textbooks, please stop by the book room during nutrition break or lunch before the 14th. Ms. Martin will return on February 23rd. The Poly Dance Club practice is now moved to lunch on Fridays. Remember to meet in D6 to attend the club. Now let's take a dive into AP classes. Chris, take it away. Are you worried about college? Do you want to be prepared as possible for college? Well, consider taking an AP class. Hi, my name is Christopher Degadillo, and I'm here with Ms. Steers. Ms. Steers, what are some activities we do in class? In our class, because it's AP English Language and Composition, we are working on preparing for the test in May, and that involves three different types of essays we have to write, an argument essay, rhetorical analysis, and a synthesis essay. What can you do if you don't want to take an AP class? If you don't want to take an AP class, that's fine because all of our English classes are college preparatory courses. So you can take those to be ready for college. The AP classes are just going to push you a little bit more. They'll probably have more homework and move a little faster in class. It's harder to miss class because things are moving at a rapid pace. Do you recommend an AP class? definitely recommend it to a certain kind of student with a certain kind of goal. If your goal is to pass an AP test, then take that class. If your goal is to be challenged by other students uh, who want a challenge, then take that class. You need to be aware that it's a rigorous class and that it, it will be probably challenging for you. So get into it with open eyes and uh, prepared to put in a lot of work and effort, then it's the right class for you. Thank you, Mr. Haig. So we heard a lot about taking an AP class, one of which is that you get college experience, and if you pass the test in May, you can get college credit. Well, that's all. Back to you. Thank you, Chris. AP classes are always great to consider. We'll now announce the Battlefall Festival winners. The best ninth grade video winner is The Bracelet by Edwin Chen, Ashley Hom, and Valerie Estanillo. The winner of the best music video is Kill Bill by Sisa, created by Kayla Guerrero, Noah Cordova, Krishna Vargas Sarut, and Ruben Archiga Diaz. Best documentary winner is Brooks Playlist of Life by Brooklyn De La Torre. Best 12th grade video, The Duck Song by El Gutierrez, Daniel Lozano, Maria Vu, and Isaac Zaldivar. Best in show is, again, Kill Bill by SZA, created by Kayla Gabriel, Noah Cordova, Krishna Vargas Sarut, and Ruben Archiga Diaz. Congratulations to the winners. We hope you tune in with us next week for another episode of SLZ TV. I'm high on believing that you're